handicapper Steve here handicapping the racing from a long shop race course here on Sunday it is the 1st of May 2022 gonna look at the stakes races on the program from long shop but before I get on to that remember to please follow me on Twitter at horse racing get five for more selections for race courses around the world and I mean it around the world hang on tight because the uh, races are gonna come quickly at you this week you have the Churchill Kentucky Derby this week you have the great races from Chester in the UK and uh, some great races here in New York also with that cheap side bay uh, on Saturday so hopefully you join me here on YouTube for some great racing action but um, we're going to look at the group races on the program today from Patty Longchamp races 5 oh, excuse me races 5, 6 and 8 so uh, let's get to it right now the 5th race it's the group 3 Prix France Longines Stakes it's a group 3 event for going for a purse $91,000 race for 4 year olds and upwards the Phillies and Mares here we have a field of 7 Mares going the distance of ground of 2,000 meters or a mile a quarter on the turf course I'm going to take here the three horse amazing uh i'm gonna go with the excuse me the one horse grand glory is the top selection we'll go one horse two in the tri cash trifecta it's too dark in here can't see my notes one four two tri cash trifecta top selection one horse grand glory the six year old mare by olympic glory christian damaro is on this one the horse's most recent ad came the 10th of april here at long shop a quarter and enlisted stakes and the horse went by one and a half lengths there and did everything and more that day she settled well on the front end she quickened up nicely and got the job done on demanding ground with some class relief from the previous race it was a job well done coming here group three not the world's toughest race second off the bench where she'd be a lot fresher i think she can improve off that last run she also likes running here at long shop two back the winner in the group one uh, t uh japan cup at tokyo race course a mile and a half on very firm ground the 28th of november and the horse finished fifth by three and a quarter lengths there she ran okay she beat quite a good group of horses home that day but she just wasn't going to win she she you know there was nothing bad about that race but she just needed that extra turn of foot which she didn't have and get beat by better horses but there was nothing bad about that race there uh and then before that the group won pre de l'opera at long shop mile quarter third of october the horse finished second by nose she's just drawn a little bit too wide and i think the very demanding ground got to her wheels were just spinning a little bit too late but again nothing bad about that race every challenge she ran in 2021 even if she didn't win she always ran these good races that you know that uh, you you couldn't cry to home about uh before then the group one pre-gen romanette at doville over the mile and a quarter 22nd of august she won by a nose a 23 to 1 upsetter she really had a good trip on the front end and then won the grand prix of Vichy before then soft ground over the mile and a quarter in july very very easily by two lengths at nine to one coming here today with a good post draw you know i think the momentum should go in here into 2022 again so to recap my selection for the fifth it's the group three pre-release france gonna go with the one horse grand glory one four two for me in the tri cash trifecta the sixth race it is the feature group one pre ganay stakes it's a group one event going for a purse of three hundred forty thousand five hundred dollars race for four year olds and upwards six horses are going two thousand meters or a mile a quarter on the long champ turf course I'm going to take the three or sail away as a top selection. Let's go three, five, two in the tri cast trifecta. Three, five, two tri cast trifecta. Top selection three horse sail away. Four year old Colt by Galloway. Um, Miguel Barcelona is on this one. The horse's most recent out came the group two, Pri La Force, a long shop, a mile quarter on 10th of April. And the horse finished second by three quarters length. Definitely needed the race that day. Scalati really quickened up and got the job quite easily. This horse was just kind of plodding. It took him a little bit of time to get going. Kind of got the thought they weren't really trying trying that day why try for that measly 140,000 euro purse when you could try for nearly th uh, just over 350,000 euro today coming here today with a be better purse better post draw probably a lot fitter I think the horse could really is sitting on a good race and I think seven to two on it's a great price and I think it might thrift up if they drop if they bet Scaletti into the ground two back they're in the Saudi Cup uh, in Saudi Arabia over the mile 8th on the dirt the 26th of February he finished 13th that day by 25 lengths and just wasn't handling the dirt it was very wide he was done early just throw that race out not a dirt horse uh, and then before that a Royal at Ask got a mile a quarter in the group one champion stakes he upset it by a half a length at 12 to 1 he said it well he was on the drive and excelling that day an all-around good race with a quick turnaround for the race before which was the Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe here at Longchamp a mile and a half in October he finished fifth by four and a half lengths he outran his 59 to 1 odds that day from the wide posture his wheels were spinning a little bit late but you know I thought it was a good race after all said and done off the long refreshing before that he ran the Prix de Jockey Club at Chanty in early June of 2021 where he finished second by one and a half lengths again outran his 54 to 1 odds that day he just couldn't get the same marks Basilica 
but he ran his heart out. Coming here to the model quarter off some decent races last time out at 72. I love him a lot. He'll be my best by the day. So to recap my selection for the six from Patty Longchamp, it's to Group 1 pre Guinea. And let's take the three horse cell away. Three, five, two in the tri cash trifecta. To head over to race number eight now from a long shop, which is to group three pre de Barbeel stakes. It's a group three event going for a purse $91,000. Race for four year olds and upwards. Seven horses are going 3,000 meters or a mile seven eighths on the long shop turf course. I'm going to take here the four horse, the good man, as a top selection. Let's go 426 in the tri cash trifecta. 426 tri cash trifecta. Top selection of four horse, the good man. Five year old horse by Manduro. Stefan Wattel trained this one. The Obachelet gets the mount. The horse's most recent outing came on the 24th of March at St. Clou, a mile and a half on yielding ground and a four-year listed stakes, and the horse finished fourth by six and three-quarter lengths there. Over a lot shorter trip, the horse just never quick enough, just kind of plod along. Coming to the longer trip for the first time, I'm very interested if he could handle it, because off of his decent runs, he just wants a little bit longer. Coming to a mile seven eighths, he's either going to run a massive race or he's going to hit the wall and just not keep up, but I, off of his decent run, his most recent runs, I think he wants a longer trip. Two back in the group two, pre -Doka. Concealed, concealed the Paddy at Longchamp a mile and three eighths on the 17th of October. He finished third by one quarter lengths. He just couldn't get there late. He was just coming a little bit too late, but nothing bad about that run. And then a Deauville in the Group 2 Grand Prix de Deauville on 29th of August, a mile and a half there, facing older horses. He finished second by half lengths. Glycon just had the jump on him, but this horse ran decently. He lost to Glycon before that Deauville also in the Group 3 Prix de Vue, where he finished fifth by three and a quarter lengths. He was drawn very wide off the bench, which was not a recipe for success. Um, he's won here already a long shop and a handicap nearly a year ago with a mile and a half. Went by half length and drawn in the parking lot. He really got over well to get the job done. Coming here a 5-1 to one with a longer trip. Watch out for him. Watch out for the um, two-horse Casino also. He's another horse. He, he had his. Uh, he started twice ready this season. Once at Consumers in a, in a conditions race and once in that um, handicap for stayers at, uh, in Saudi Arabia on Saudi Cup night where he just never really showed. Come back to Paris, um, you know, a little bit given the grounds. I think he should uh, go up and up. 3-1, to one, definitely to use in your place pod. But to recap my selection for the 8th from Patty Longchamp, it's the Group 3 Prix de Barbeau. Let's take the 4-horse, the good man as a top selection. Give kudos to the 2-horse casino. 4-2-6, tri-cast, trifecta. 4-2 in your place pod. So good luck to all. Please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5 Good luck everybody.